Did you read this part from Calgary paper? Oh no, I did. I didn't read them that. So it's two, two miners hurt by uh, by rockfall, Rocky Mountain House, October eighteenth. Two miners employed at the San Sanders West of here were injured in a rockfall of at the work workings on Saturday. John Ber Bergzek suffered a broken leg, and Walter Wasikiewicz fractured ribs and pelvis injury and I can't see that much more. Both men were. We're working at the mine, didn't <coughs> not where they said. Um, both men had been employed at the mine for a number of years. September 25th, 1950, age 26. Um, okay, so my wife's Jadik was in a mining accident 70-ish years ago. And that, that is freaking crazy. Okay, I got to I got to do this. I got to do this. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm good. While cleaning up a small cave in and a large, pe a large piece of blue stone broke loose, falling on him and another miner. <clears throat> and then this is the full report here. Were these love WCV yeah. buckets or is that predated? No. WCV. It says work and compensation? Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay, so this is a big report. From Dr. Greenway from Rocky Mountain House, that was the attending physician. Doc, dear Dr. Greenway, here within is a copy of my findings on the above patient. On September 25th, while cleaning up some debris in the Bighorn and Saunders Creek coal mine, a large rock fell from the roof and landed across this man's pelvis and lower abdomen. He was first treated by Dr. Greenway at Rocky. The man has then forwarded here with Dr. Greenway having phoned me to let me know of the findings and the possible implication of a DU tract trauma and the diagnosis yeah. as for Dr. Greenway's x-rays of fractured pelvic ramets on the left side. He arrived here in September 26th, about 2 p.m. in mild shock. So that's after driving from here to... Yeah. Uh, Edmonton. Yeah. In a car, you said? In a car. In a car, yeah. A I, think, I think it was a taxi car or yeah. something. <laughs> if you read, yeah. yeah. We will watch him over the next few days and do not intend to do any active therapy until the man is well out of his initial shock and will treat him expectantly. Thank you kindly for referring this patient. Yours truly, Dr. Gay. So recently, uh, my in-laws found some paperwork pertaining to Ashley's uh, grandfather's mining accident. So we've decided to uh, try to find the mine uh, that he got injured in. Apparently, it's... Uh, around here somewhere. What is that? Oh. We might not be in the right spot. Yeah, we had no idea where we were or even where to start really to even know where we were, if that makes sense. My mother-in-law went and talked to some kayakers, but they didn't know where we were or where we wanted to go either. So yeah, not off to a great start. There's a little exo camp. We went past the camp. So half of us are going home. 
And the other half. That's a show job. Where is he? It's over there. Hey, doll! Come here. We have to look at it based on this map. We need to go here or we that's, are here? No, that's where it is. And we are? I don't know. So this was that camp. This is where the mine is. Across the highway? No. I don't know. Where are we? I don't know. We're down by the river somewhere here, right? Alexa Camp. That's so the camp. it's more this up is by the... Mine. So we have to go into the camp. And it's... It's uh, it's north of the camp road. So we have so to go. We, go we have to go there, the over up yes, there. Yes, there was an entrance to the camp, and we kept coming this way but to the river. We, have to go that we way. turned right. We should have turned left. We should have turned left. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Foreshadowing. So apparently we went the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> this is not exactly an advertised, marked trail or anything like that. Um, so we uh, kind of just have to guess where it is, but uh, Ashley is talking to her brother. He's probably the most experienced in this area, so yeah. we'll find it. We'll find it. Okay, so we were on, we passed by. We have to go back and then go down this road. Right? Well, that's the road we came in on. The pin's on the road we came in on. So you don't think this is the pin on the actual road? On the actual line? Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, so I think we came all the way down to here. Yeah. But I really just think that's a general pin. Because if you look, right, like... It's just bush. I know, but, I mean, it's gonna be just bush. Nah, you might see the remnants of something on the picture. You think? Okay, let's go. Yeah. So the town that we were staying in uh, is also considered a ghost town for some reason. And um, they have a museum, and we knew that we could probably ask the museum for directions to this ghost ghost town, uh, if need be. Uh, not really a plan B, but a plan A adjacent. So we kept that in mind as, uh, as we consider our next step. Yes, 70,000. My mother-in-law was just referencing the picture she took earlier of the odometer rolling over 70,000 kilometers. They don't use this truck that often. Wait, that's my other one. Yours is right here. Thank you. Yours is all clean. <laughs> yeah, Joel, he's just like, why don't we just go to the museum first? <laughs> why didn't you tell us that? Oh, yeah. Didn't think of it. I have a hang hanger underneath my Oh, yeah. <laughs> they keep popping up just randomly. Yeah, they do. Okay, we'll follow you, bro. So you're. Oh, yeah, you're right. So, does it say where that is in relation to the mine? What? You have paperwork on. Yeah. Yeah, he's got paperwork on that too. On the mon monuments there, right? So. Yeah. What does it say in relation to where the mine is? Um, oh, that was the memorial here. Yeah. Yes, yes. Does it say? But that's what I'm going to read. Okay. Because that's just right over there. Yeah. I had no idea that they had paperwork on, like, the, the old ghost town. I thought it was just on the actual accident. So uh, I thought that this would be a really handy to have to use as a tool to find this place. I thought it would be really handy. <laughs> we labored over that text for a while. Okay. Well, we're close. We're close. We had a decent idea. Down by the river, there was a ferry crossing many years ago. Jack has he drowned off grading the ferry. There's a little memorial uh, to him by the river. So even if it's way back where you said it is, which kind of makes sense, because well, that's that where the mountain road. is, right? Yeah. They So they brought everything up by the river, but they still had to get it from the river up to the actual town site, uh -huh. which makes sense that it would be, it's not going to be right on the river. No, are you going to get closer to the mountain right where the coal is? Yeah. Or, I don't know how coal works exactly. But... Well, you've seen that there was a coal road up there. And that was interesting, because that was that possible the road. Maybe it was. And there is a remaining support for the tree.
Drexel. We've got a picture here. Now we didn't see this down by the river, did we? Supposedly there was, but remember that pulley we saw? Yeah. Joe? Yeah. And I said, that's a pulley for bringing stuff up from the, uh, river. From the river. Hmm. No, I didn't see that. But, uh, where Dad and I were at that campsite. Yeah. Roll down your window. Mom? Roll down your window. Black cut line that we noticed is like impossible. It shows it as a road, but it's impossible. Can you walk it then? Did you look at what I was just looking at? On the, well, we can walk it, but it's a long way. Okay, can I say something? What? According to the posted map, Big John Spring was named for its founder, John Harbovich, who died after drinking a free few too many on a cold night, found his, door, found his doorstep with his keys in his hand. But there's some kind of a, a, a thing somewhere that has some kind of a map on it. Um, then it shows yeah. Big John Spring. So that would be maybe the entrance to one of the town roads. Some of the spots are marked, but many are not. Can you so give that whole thing to Joel and see if he can like maybe picture it? I'm coming. <laughs> so we had stopped up in this little clearing here because we thought there would be better cell reception so that we could kind of use reference in the paperwork and what we could find online and using GPS uh, on our phones. It's worth a shot. But so far you can see it's not working. Okay. Can you find... Bunch of really big hornets. Can you look up Saunders Creek on your phone? None of ours is working. Is yours no, ours is working. Right. Okay. Because it says Saunders Creek runs immediately west of the town. So like, if we knew where Saunders Creek was, we would have a better general idea of where the town is. Yeah. There's a museum even open. I can find that. Who knows, but we need to sell I'm missing one sheet. I have it. Oh, you have it. Okay, well. So you want to go to the museum now? Why don't we? Okay. We'll follow you. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, you guys want to follow me? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Okay. okay. Okay, we're doing it. Hey, we can go get the pie. Oh, we, we can, can get, get the pie. Too. Yeah, we can get the pie. Okay. <laughs> pie for what? Um, Joel wanted to try that pie place. For dessert. For dessert tonight. Pie place. Oh, okay. Coal Miners Cafe. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be in the vlog, but we'll see. It's pie, of course it made it in. <laughs> uh, on our way out, we, uh, we contemplated this one road that we had noted on our way in. It was a very narrow black road. Um, maybe the blackness was coal? And maybe that's where we were supposed to be? We weren't sure. So that, that's interesting here. Uh, right, it's all black from coal, probably? Yeah. yeah. Is there anything about that trailhead in there? No. And why does it say do not trespass and this is all crown land? That doesn't make any sense. So people park here. Is it possible that they're hiking in? Maybe. There was a red X there, whatever that was for. Yeah, maybe. I'm tending to think it was up there. See, this is all... Hey, put it back on the GPS just so... Just in case we can possibly see something and zoom in so that we can see all the water. Yeah, that's probably good. I don't know if I can see a little bit more. It doesn't look like anything. Yeah, something like that. That's as far as I can They see. might have blue yeah. lines for water though. There was a certain creek mentioned in the paperwork and I was hoping that the truck's GPS might be able to pick it up uh, to give us a clue as to where we were in relation to where we wanted to be. I would tend to think walking down that trail here. Yeah, that is cool, hey? Okay? Surprise, surprise! We didn't end up having any luck with that, so it was off to the museum. Hopefully for better luck. <laughs> nope! Uh-oh. Now what are we gonna do? So 
told the story it got tougher. Well, now that we're here and we have more um, data or whatever, cell service, trying to figure out, I'm going to Google like the ghost town. So it appears as though the museum is likely closed for renovation. Also, it's Sunday today, so it might just be closed on Sundays as well. But just to make sure, we're going to have a walk around and see if it's a possibility that it is open. Because we would like to find this mine shaft. And if we don't end up finding it, well, this is a, a waste of footage. <laughs> so I'm just going to have a quick walk around, but so far it looks as though it's we're out of luck. So Joel has gone up the road to see if there's anything else in terms of visitor information, but we are probably out of luck. Yeah, this fence goes all the way around. No trespassing. Do not enter. Personal. Authorized personnel only. Yeah, it sucks. This used to be the school. Oh yeah, it says closed right on the window. Right there, so. Yeah, a very official <laughs> closed sign. It looks like it was like a, a box for some sort of equipment. Girls entrance. Huh, that's real old. Bummer. Yeah, it's closed as a sign on the window that says closed. We're gonna have to just go down that trail and hope that it's that one. Maybe. Yeah. What are you finding? Not much. No? No. Dang. So after exhausting ourselves looking online and finding nothing, may as well go get that pie. <laughs> So if we hadn't stopped for pie, we wouldn't have met Maverick, but also we wouldn't have met the pie ladies. My in-laws asked them, hey, where's the ghost town? The reply was that this is the ghost town, uh, but we meant like the actual ghost town where there no one, where no one lived anymore. And uh, so they said, It was really hard to hear anything in there, but basically what they explained is something that I had suspected early on. It was a turn left versus turn right situation. Initially, we had turned right, but we were very close. We were on the right track. We just had nothing to confirm that until now. Saunders Creek, Silver Bridge. So we're gonna go there. We got Okay, we just stopped for pie and ice cream. Jewel found some stuff and the people who work here kind of told us an idea of where to look. So now we are just conferencing and uh, hopefully, hopefully we can find it now. Okay, let's go. Okay. A little indecisive. There is too many different options, but we'll figure it out. If we don't, at least we have pie. So <laughs> there's uh, some consolation. Wait, start over? Why intersection are we supposed to go left? Okay, don't start over then. She said left, right? That's the way we came. I know, that's what was bugging me. Oh, this was so frustrating. No, we didn't come from the left. I knew where to go at this point because early on I had guessed where to go and then the pie ladies confirmed it. And also Betty, my mother-in-law, she also knew where to go at this point. I think I knew before her, but only because I guessed first and then it was just confirmed. But we knew where to go. But for some reason, Joe and Ashley thought we had had to go with this other random place, which was not left. It was in fact a right, which then confused me. I was like, maybe I heard wrong. <laughs> it makes I sense. heard when you're in the Y, in your, when you're in the Alexa cow. Okay, well this is it. Okay, well let's try it. Go, go right, and we'll figure it out. This is where the pie lady said to go. But this is private road, which is why I'm kind of confused, but we'll go down there. 
private road that's then covered up by a speed limit sign. True. Private road as in it's a camp. Oh, there's a gate. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this isn't it. <laughs> no trespassing. Okay. This isn't it then. Okay. Let's go back to the other place. Ah, uh, yes. The other place. Betty and I were on the right track because we listened to the pie ladies and earlier we had thought about it. Um, so we were on our way to the other place. We want to walk this, which I hypothesize is your old uh, rail, line. rail line. Okay. I read about the old rail line. And this X is just someone else was like, hey, let's yeah, just take two uh, I would, landmark I stakes. Just, you know, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I, I, I'm banking on that, man. There. But it would make sense if this was danger, though. There would be mine trapped. Okay. Right? Well, <laughs> we didn't go to the other place. Instead, we went, uh, we stopped here. Um, at the, uh, the coal road. The coal road. And I'm, I'm actually glad that we did. I'm glad we didn't go to the other place. Okay, so... We are in a bit of a conundrum. There is, there used to be a train rail here somewhere. And we're thinking uh, what the road that we saw last time, the coal road we were calling it, that's over there, uh, meets up with this road here if it cuts straight across this gravel road here. So it's either there or there, or there might be some landmarks down there, some landmarks there. I don't know. All this paperwork is not very clear. You kind of have to know to know. But we're going to start down this way. Are you sure you uh, don't need to lock your doors once more? <laughs> oh, yeah, what is this? Oh, that's just a pipe. It's just, a pipe. just a pipe? That could be a... It's probably not in use anymore. Because, like, it's damaged. Hmm. Okay. Go around this puddle. Oh, wasp! Wasp nest! Wasp nest! Ah! Yeah, there's a wasp nest right there. You gotta go around that, go around that way. Oh, they're coming! <laughs> Me and Joel are both allergic. Uh, I stepped on it, and then it just went, Poof. whoops, but we're good. So looking at this picture here, these are spruce trees. These are poplar and birch trees, and we got one or two spruce trees along the trail. So probably Ashley is right that we are probably going the wrong way. There, there's like two poplars and a bunch of spruce. spruce and then there's like two spruce and a bunch of poplars so <laughs> I don't know about this one yeah because yeah, if you look at the if you look at the picture. the pictures here you can see like the terrain is a lot different the terrain's different than this one is we can still see what's down here just for Pete's sake that's not how you say that. See, there's like a cemetery and stuff. Okay. How updated are these pictures of all the spruce trees? Do um, you think they would have 20... chopped down all of the spruce trees and then grew up these poplar trees? <laughs> 2017, I think. In four years? Oh, Come on, Haley. Oh. Did you get stung? I don't know. She didn't get stung, it was something else. But there were a lot of wasp nests. And a lot of wasps. Here's some railroad ties. Oh, we got evidence. Evidence. Maybe? Maybe. Yeah, They're like, guys. they took out the whole line for this whole like oh, 2K yeah. that we just walked. Oh yeah, there oh, are. Nice. There's another one right there. Right here? Right there, yeah. Okay, yeah, because I was just about to say, they took out like 2K worth and then they like left two. Yeah, there's some roots in here, so some of them are... Yeah, that's a root. 
Okay, there was like six or so. Yeah, we believe that that sheep stumbled across. This is a leg bulb. This is... From the ATV. No, it's not. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think this particular leg bolt was used for holding the track together. So when two pieces of rail butt together, they are sandwiched between two, I don't know what they're called, but let's just call them steel plates. They're sandwiched between two steel plates. So the leg bolt basically goes through one plate, through the rail, and then out the other plate, and then you have a lock washer, and then a nut threaded onto that, and you probably do it at least eight times, but I'm not sure. So I imagine four on one rail and then four on the other rail, and that should hold it together uh, without needing to weld it or anything like that. I'm not 100% sure if that's what this bolt was used for, but it definitely wasn't used for a quad or a side-by-side. -side. It's just the wrong shape, and it's much too old for, for anything like that. It could have come from something else, though. Um, I'm not sure. But if you think you know, let me know in the comments what you think it was used for. Another X. There's like a, a like a thing they should carry like Oh well, there's a telephone pole and oh look here's a tie and some sort of box. Like box. It's kind of interesting. And then here's a electric pole. That's cool. The whole There's... They did have electricity? Yeah, they did. Okay. Well, it was cut down with a chainsaw. So there's probably more somewhere. And then there's this thing right here, a little barrel to hold something. Would they have followed the railroad or would they have like taken a shortcut? Wait, did they sell, send telegraphs through that? Anyone who knows uh, Morse code will know what that meant. Okay. And it does kind of look like the there's there's more spruce trees now. Yeah, well the pictures, they have spruce trees. They got tons. So by this point I stopped worrying about the other place where the pie ladies told us to go. Um it was fun just exploring. But I knew we were heading in the wrong direction. It looked nothing like our paperwork. And just intuitively, I just knew this was this was not right. But I'm glad we kept going because we finally found something interesting. Looks like there's something up ahead. Something up ahead. Yeah. Guys, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, there's, a, like a... there's something. There's like a something. Oh, this is the bridge. So. Here's the mine. The other way. I think the mine is the other way. Maybe the mine is the other way. So we've probably gone the wrong way, but okay. there That's is. Cool. Oh, there's another X too. Um, right there. Uh, but there's a bridge here. Um, also, I found a, a square nut. Um, there's a bridge here, which I think goes to the mine up the mountain. There's the other X. Joel, of course, wants to go up there for no reason. Okay. So we have... Oh, it's still intact, man. It goes all the way across, I think. There's no water underneath it. Hmm. I don't... Yeah, it can't be this way, because if the instructions don't say that you have to cross this, because I don't think... I don't think, uh, I don't know, I'd say like 60 feet, I'd say 60-ish feet at this point, but it probably gets a little, 
deeper. If you guys want to walk across, it's pretty wide. I don't think there is anything over here. I think it's relatively safe though. Like it's not. Okay. There's a. There's a. Is there? Oh yeah. Someone dropped their can. Uh, there's a. Some sort of electrical or something down there. I don't know what that stuff is. There's like these little metal pieces coming out of that piece of wood. I don't know if they had insulators on them or not. Or whatever in the past. Um, okay. Well, these trees are quite tall, so... I don't know how high we are, but... Yeah, there's definitely nothing over there. This would be an adventure of another day. Oh, there are wasps, but uh, I think we're fine. The two people who are allergic to it are like 60, 70 feet up. I don't know, do you want to keep going or you don't care? Maybe, maybe we'll just go to the middle, I guess. I just wonder if, uh, I wonder if uh, we would have uh, any luck going this way, finding anything else that's kind of interesting. I don't know. They're not here though. Well then don't stand there. Ashley's just saying there's wasps everywhere. Okay, I think we're probably like here. We're probably like a hundred feet up, if I had to guess. Because we're taller than the trees now. I don't know how tall the trees are. I, I could just be making stuff up in my mind. Here's the view. It's pretty cool. trees over here awesome so the train would have come across here obviously and then gone to the mine to and from the mine I like it I wish I could like reclaim some of this just because it would have such a cool yeah all right Okay, well, if we're gonna find the mine today, we should probably go back. Oh, you're sketching out a little bit? Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm just gonna let you go ahead a bit so that if there are wasps, we don't get, yeah. So at this point, since there were so many wasps flying around, I put away my phone uh, and it's probably a good thing because I noticed up ahead on my way back, there was a big wasp nest that I think was attached to the tree and the bridge. And I think what was happening is us walking on the bridge was probably vibrating the nest a little bit and irritating them so they had come out. Luckily, I had noticed them, so I had crossed back over instead of brushing past the tree and uh, and nothing happened. Now, if that wasp nest was in the tree that Joel had brushed up against, that could have been really bad. We were both allergic and if we had gone into anaphylactic shock, it's a 3K walk from the truck and then another a uh, little more than an hour's drive away from the nearest hospital. That could have been bad because I forgot my EpiPen. If I had a GoPro, that would have been a little better, but that was kind of sketchy. These wasps actually came out there, right? There was quite a few actually, but uh, 
pretty interesting. Okay, now we're gonna walk the other way because hopefully the other way leads to the actual mine. And apparently there isn't much left of it, but we'll see what there is left of it. So how far do you think we walked here? Three-ish? Three-ish. Yeah, three-ish K. And then, so three K back and then hopefully only about two or three or four K. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> wasp got caught in Haley's hair there for a quick second. <laughs> a lot of wasps this year. All right. A very fresh squirty poop. <laughs> okay, this is what I found for my first walk. Three washers, three square nuts, and two leg bolts. Uh, before we head on up the other trail here, which is not this one, but uh, this one right here, we are going to eat some lunch. We don't know how long the hike is, and uh, we might be hungry. No, are those antiques or are they? Well, these, yeah, these are old. Actually, a few of them look old. Yeah. Um, no, they're all corroded to them. But I don't even think they make. The old Kylan guys would send them away for analysis to figure out how old they are. That's just to make the show interesting. I know. So we're done lunch, and uh, we've decided to drive up part way where we can rather than walk the whole way because if it's not the right place we may run out of time uh, to actually find what we're looking for so play it safe we're gonna drive finally heading to the other place turning left if you will and uh, we weren't sure how far along this road was gonna go but we're like hey well let's let's see this is where the track goes man this that's where we're supposed to go if we're walking. Yeah, that's true. Well, Joel thinks he thinks it's down below where Mom was kind of. Okay. Well, this that the, the, the yes. yeah, that's what I was talking about, guys. Uh, this could be yes. it then. Yes. This is what I was saying. This is what he was saying. Notice all campers. And she said there was a toilet, right? Yeah. What's that? Can Some you... kind of historic sign. Is that my sign? Is that on the paperwork? Or that's what the lady yeah. at the pie place said? Is that the sign? I think that might just be the camp. What's up, Duke? What is it? That was the store, oh, the general cool. store? Saunders General Store in 1937. I told you there was a Y. She told us we were supposed to come this way. No, I told you guys first before we even went to the pie place. <laughs> I really did say so, but uh, whatever. I sound like, I, uh, like I'm like i frustrated, but I actually wasn't. Um, it, I'm actually glad we no one listened to me because... Uh, we wouldn't have found the bridge. I wouldn't have found those bits of metal. So it, it all worked out. I figured we should try this place, but uh, whatever. Let's see what this sign is. Um, We're here if you need us. Okay. And then on the other side, just an advertisement for someone who might need tires, I guess. Oh, this is a foundation for something. Yeah. Back in the day. The general store. It's so in 1937. Oh, this is exactly where the store was. I guess. I'm thinking. That's probably why they have that right there. That makes yeah. sense. Okay. That means, yeah, we should go park and then we're probably on our way. Nice. That's uh, good to know. But the, it's the general store right here. The town right here. Yeah. Well, the town could have been spread out like an old western, you know, so they'd have yeah. room for gunslinging. No? Yeah. <laughs> 
Saunders Creek General Store in 1937. Oh, so we're in it. We're so, we're very close. Potentially. Yes. Yeah, the, see there's another another sign thingy there. Look at that. Dang, this video is going to be long. I'm going to have to do it in two parts. We got lots of water. It's not slippery. At least not with these shoes. What is it, Josh?